is Pix Pixar is the next big big thing? Is this starts with the feud between Pixar and uh, DreamWorks? If Wolf Wolfwick will ever get the heart of uh, Princess Egg, because he loves her. Well, I guess we'll have to find out on DPR. <laughs> Oh, there, welcome to DPR, which is Disney Plus Reviewer. I'm the Disney Kit, and here's our new review Books Life. Yes, we're talking about books, and it's about their lives. Try to get through life as a bug, especially it's based on uh, the Ant and Grasshopper fable from Aesop. So, so what's the story about? Well, let's go find out. From the inspiration of Aesop's fable to Ant and the Grasshopper, an ant named Flick tries to make a difference in helping Colony. Unfortunately, he did something so stupid, which he um, knocked over the rock and took all the uh, the offering and has no food left. So, um, thanks, thanks to that, it drives the Grasshopper so mad and it came down the anthill to find out what is going on. Hopper, the leader of the gang, got so angry about what's going on, so... He wants to continue doing the protective racket for the ants, so that way they get protective from other insects that were trying to take advantage of them. Um, they don't want to get there. They want to get hurt there. So the only thing you um you have to do is just double of the order for that. So, Flick didn't mean to do anything harm, and Princess said, "Well, you did." So, he had to say, "Hey, you know what? Maybe I should go go find some tough bucks." So, Flick said, it's perfect! So he's going to ask Anna, it's like, hey, what's he making look at those tough bucks? We'll be up Hopper in his gang. And, um, they, the ants, the ant, um, console was not very thrilled with that. But, they give a suggestion. What, what Flick do this, so that way they won't, he won't screw it up, and try to, um, try to fix the offerings, and it's like, hey, we're all good to go. So, it's like, all right, then you won't mess anything up. All right, so thanks for, thanks for the wish for that one. Yep, it's time for him to um, go out there and go find tough bucks. Well, the plan worked so far. So when he went to the city, which looks like um, a trailer from from another movie, which is. Um, well, actually, Monsters Inc. Um, put that there as well. It's like, yeah, they put that reference because they put Pizza Planet in, in the truck. It's like, hey, that's where the, that truck driver lives in the trailer. And then there's a, um area that they made uh, Bug City trying to find out those tough bucks. So, um, there's actually a, a circus performance um, trying to do their best to uh, get money earned for the circus. But but P.T. Flea said, oh, no, that's it. We got to do something about this. That flaming death. And then when he did the flaming death, it was so funny. And I laughed my ass off on the whole thing. Uh, it didn't work out very well. So thanks to that, um, they he fired them. And it's like, you know, what? I'm going to start over and see if I can get back up there. But turns out to be the thing was so successful, um, which I will talk about that a little bit later. Um. Well, actually, I'm not going to try to talk, talk about the whole story because it, um, just in case if anyone haven't, um, watched the movie before, I was like, I don't want to make it a spoiler for you. So, so anyway, um, so they went to this bar, even though it's like, oh, goody, another a bar scene from a G Ray movie. Hey, that's a great idea. Let's put sexual in there, those in there. So that way it's like, wow, wow, wow. It's on a G Ray film. Wow. <laughs> anyway. Okay, all humor aside, um, yeah, so the circus performers were at the bar just saying, we stink, we can't do anything. They say, well, it's time to move on until those, um, the Floyd brothers who was going to flirt with the lady bug and pretends out to be a guy, <laughs> he just pissed him off. So, yes, I am on swear words on my review, okay? Screw me. Oh, please don't. <laughs> no, don't fix me. Don't fix me. No! Okay, never mind. I'm fine. <laughs> anyway, so so he got their bodyguards because like, okay, he's gonna beat the crap out of them. It's like, uh oh, yeah, that's trouble. Oh no, it's gonna be trouble for that one. 
So anyway, um, they didn't, they didn't um try to do a skit on Robin Hood. Like, uh, it's like, well, good. Now you're doing a reference to Robin Hood, huh? <laughs> so I was like, oh, tough bugs. And it's like, yeah, they're not tough bugs. They're just acts on that one. So, so yeah, things have got done well for that one. And since those two are mad, it's like, hey, they thought he's a, um, a talent scout. And <laughs> then he didn't know that there were circus clowns. So that didn't help very much either. So, yeah, that's all. Didn't, didn't done. But there we go. That's pretty, pretty much all the story is about. It's about uh, these ants never knew that they have, um, they got the courage because they got so many ants there. Why hire grasshoppers doing that? That's a good question. Why? Why do you want to hire them? Oh, they're tough bugs. They didn't want to, um, don't want anyone to take advantage of them and take all the food and stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, you're not any better either. Sheesh. What's up with that? Huh? What's up with that? So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much the story right there. Okay. So let's go talk about the cast. Okay. Um, we'll do the bomb on the cast thing I just put in. Patrick P, who's a bug in the bar. Hey, he's yeah, it was a short but funny um skit. Jack Angel. Oh man, how I miss that guy. That guy's a legend. He's the, the horse he's the horse fly bodyguard to fly rolls. Yeah, he didn't do very much of the acting part, but still fun. Bob Virgin. Hey, Bob Virgin's in it. Nice. He's Alfie, that's Queen's Queen's pet, that little bug there with um the Queen. So yeah. It's like I'm cute. And then we had Jan Rebson and Carl Zachary. Oh, yeah. Rocco. They're Alex and Loco. Hey, can we put Rocco just as cause as his modern life of Bugs Life? <laughs> eh, eh. Oh, anyway, let's move on. They're part of Hopper's game. And they also told, uh, told the brother of Hopper to uh, about not going back to Ant Island. So, okay. Then actually, we have Ashley Tisdale, who's the leader of the Blueberry Scouts. Roger Bumpus, who's a hairy mosquito, is like, hey, can I have Bud Mary? All positive. <laughs> that made me laugh. Then we have Daniel on there with Thumper, is a hopper enforcer. He's that creepy um, grasshopper who's um, trying to knock anyone who's trying to hurt Hopper. Um, then we have David Osman, who's Cornelius, who's a very old ant, but very, very wise and very fun. Then we got X. X uh, Rocco, who's Thorny, um, he's an Addis uh, assistant. Very nice, very nice character. He does the best he can to help the ant crew. Then we have Eddie McClurk, who's Dr. Flora, because yeah, and Doctor are trying to do the best he can to for the ants. Then we got Ryan McDowell. Oh, the legend Ryan McDowell. I love his voice. I love his presence. Hey, you ever watched uh, Fright Night with him? Please do. It's an excellent movie. Anyway, um, yeah, so he, he plays Mr. Soil, tried to help the best they can to keep the crew going. Um, then we have Brett Garrett, who is one of the clowns. His name is Dim. He's a Rhino Beal. Then we got Johnson Rotzenberger, P.T. Flea, the owner of the Flea Circus. Ah, pun! See? Flea Circus. Ah, waka waka meow meow. Okay, don't throw some as at me, please. Thank you. Give me some catnip. That works. That sounds good there, too. Um, there's Michael Machine, who's Tuck and Roll, with our twin pilt. Bug performers. Then we got Bonnie Hunt, which I love that voice actress. Rosie, she's the Will Spire um, train um, did. Also, there's Madeline Khan, who's a gypsy. I thought she was a butterfly, but she's a moth. It's like, oh, I didn't know Bonsu could be beautiful. You would be surprised. Um, also, she's um, the husband of the Mantis magician named Manny, who was voiced by Jonathan Harris. Then we have Daniel Sawyer, Francis, the lay bug clown that looks like uh, this. A guy, not a bug. And then we have Joan Raft. Uh, hi, Miss Joan Raft. Uh, who voiced Heimlich. Yeah, he's... Um, yeah, he's just a great, great um, voice for Heimlich. <laughs> so, hi, Moon the Goober. Oh, that's probably where he got from. <laughs> um, then we have David Heist Pierce, who's a Slim. His name is Slim. He's a stick bug clown. Very nice, very prestigious. Also, we have Edward Kyan Malt. That's Topper's brother. Very funny. Very. <laughs> he always makes me laugh on that one. Then we got Phyllis Dark. Ha, 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 ha. The famous laugh I love so much. Who is the queen? This is one of her last performance before his passing. Then we have Hayden Parenty here, uh, which is her acting career debut. Um, if you want to know what projects she's been on, um, 
She was on, um, I think she was on Scream 4 and 6, I believe. So, yeah. Yeah, if you haven't seen the new Scream movies, please do. They're pretty good ones. And also, she was on Heroes, which I didn't like it after Season 2, but moving on. Yeah, she did a great job as Dot. Very, very cute. Nice voice. And she's always fun. Very, very good character. Then Joey Louis Dreyfus, who, um, who was Prince Sarah, very conscious, very funny, very like stressed out. Hey, anxiety? Where's anxiety? Oh, whoops. Oh, wrong movie. And then we got Kevin Spacey as Hopper. Oh, that guy is a mean menace. Mofo. Very, very, very mean. Oh, very prestigious. He just, he just like to ruin their lives of these ants, but he did the best he can is try to say, I'm going to take over the plant. Yeah. Good luck with that one. <laughs> anyway, and then we have um, Dave Foley as Flick, the hero. And he does, he's the inventor, um, clumsy, and got the hots for Adam. So nice. So anyway, um, yeah, the cast overall, wow, great job. Great job for what, what they do for not only for the director, which is John Lester, and then all the screenwriters, Andrew Stanton. Oh, yeah, just, just so you know, Andrew Stanton also co directed with John Lester, which is his debut, by the way. And then Don McNary and Bob Shaw also helped with the sc screenwriter. Uh, yeah, they did an amazing job with this film. I really appreciate every word they go through. I love how they do the story, trying to get the ant and the grasshopper. It makes it makes me just laugh about that. And actually, yeah, and also just so you know, folks, um, they do have some in and out of those, and also there might be have tiny violence in this, but it's not been like it runs the G rated, but it could have been PG to be honest. But oh well, I'm not here to judge about the ratings anyway. My job is just you know have fun with it. Okay. Oh, do you know it was the first film to be digitally transferred from frame from frame and released on DVD, which is actually that's pretty cool. But do you know, during production, a controversial public feud erupted between Steve Jobs and Lester of Pixar and DreamWorks co-founder Jeffrey Katzenberg, who did got, fi who did got fired in 1995. Um, then they made a new division of DreamWorks with DreamWorks Animation, which is called PDI at the time, due to a parallel production of a similar film, Ants, which was released a month prior. So yeah, both of them were very successful films with Ants and The Bug's Life. But most of the people are talking about Bucks Life more than Ants. So, yeah. That, that was a little skeptical in there. Disney even uh, told them that do not continue on with this feud because it's not going to help you. It's not going to help anyone, especially with DreamWorks and stuff like that. So, so bygones be bygones. The animators uh, being friends from DreamWorks and Disney. So everything has been, been very nice. So, so yeah. I just want to let you know about the trivia there. And also, they won a lot of awards and stuff like that. So, I'm not going to get to these specifics because it takes too, take too much of bigger longer in the video part. So, we all need to do that. But, all I got to say is that this film is very inspiring, very, very fun, enjoyable. Um, Let's go through the pros and cons before we end this review. Okay? All right, pros. Um... Aesop's Dead and the Grasshopper. Great, a great fable tale, and I'm glad they did that. Um, great script, great direction. Uh, characters were awesome. I enjoyed that. Um, the scenery of the, the elements of like the trees, the dirt, um, the, the rocks, and all that stuff there. Oh my goodness, everything about that, especially the bugs themselves, they're very impressive. Very, very impressive on that one there. Um, cons. Um, it does get to a fam familiar stage just a little bit, but not too much, though. But it gets to something just a little familiar that we've seen from previous D uh, Disney movies. But that that's only like a little con. That's the only con thing I can think about about this film. And this could be a tiny dark for, for little kids, too. Especially with uh, birds... A bird eating an insect, and also um, the the picture that they show for the play about their battle, and they have well, looks like a gore factor there is just interesting, and then also one of the flies, um, say something something that 
that the ladybug is a f uh, ladybug, but it's actually a guide bug. So, yeah. So, yeah. But due to those tiny two, two little cons there, it's... But everything else is just a, a very excellent movie, and I really highly recommend this one. I've seen this movie many, many times. I saw this on... I also... I don't think I've seen it in theaters, but I saw it on VHS, and then DVD, and then I got a Blu-ray. Well, they do have the 4K Blu-ray, but I'm not sure if they still have it, which I'm sure will probably be super expensive. You can try to find 4K Blu-rays, especially they are stopped making them, which is stupid. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I, I really enjoy this film. So... What should we get this one? Well, everything we just talk about and all the um stuff right there, we are grateful to get this one. It a it's very close to A plus, but with those two little cons though, I would I'm gonna lower down just to A, but I think that's a pretty good review review rating for that one. Yeah, yeah, Bucks Life. Uh, also, just so you know, one more list of trivia, which I think it's going to happen when they change it. Um, they do have it's tough to be a bug attraction that's below the Tree of Life on the Animal Kingdom Park. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how long that's going to last because I heard there's going to be a permit that they're going to change it to Zootopia. So, if you're a Bugs Life fan, I recommend you go to that attraction before it's gone. That way you'll remember the memories of that one. And I'm sure it's like, oh, well. Time to move to Zootopia, <laughs> which I can't wait to review that one later on. So, all right, everyone, thank you, thank you for watching. Great to have you here. I will see you next time. Make sure you uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe so you can see more content, and also press the notification button so you know my videos are live. And if you got any questions or comments or suggestions for my channel, please uh, talk about that in the comments below. And I will see you on. I will see you on the next video. So, I'll see you meow soon.